Do you guys like to come here and take a look at our new sign? This is one of uh, our new features that we have uh, this year. And this is all of the butterflies that are in Lee County, but it has been modified to have all the butterflies that are in this habitat right here. And this part in the center is the life cycle of the uh, zebra longwing, which is the Florida State butterfly. And if you guys look around, we have a lot of them here today. Hi, we're really excited to show you all today what's new in the butterfly habitat. And the first thing that you're going to see, notice, is our new sign that says butterfly habitat. Last year, the end of last year, we formally renamed the, bar, uh, the area from the Shell Point Butterfly Garden to the Shell Point Butterfly Habitat. And our na naming the area uh, habitat more adequately describes what's going on here. This beautiful area that we have here is really a home for butterflies. It's where they live, where they eat, where they reproduce. It's where their young uh, get nourished and grow up and turn into uh, butterflies. This area that you're looking at right now is an area in progress. And I'd like to point out to you some features of it. The, we have host plants in here, which the first one here is uh, the milkweed, uh, which is the host plant for the monarch butterfly. If you want butterflies to come to your area, you must have host plants or they won't come. And that's where they uh, lay their eggs. And actually there's an egg right here on this leaf. So we'll have a new caterpillar hatching here before too long. In addition to the host plants, we have nectar plants that uh, will provide food for the butterflies once they emerge from their chrysalis. Now you might look at this area and you might see this um, uh, green, all these little green plants that are here and you might think, well, they, they need to weed that garden. They need to get those, uh, that out of there. But in actuality, that provides a safety net and coverage for the caterpillars as they move from one plant to another. The other thing is, is that what we see as a weed, the butterflies see as a steak, something wonderful to eat. And so oftentimes when people visit a butterfly habitat, they think they're disappointed because it's not a lush, gorgeous uh, area. And that is because, the, if we're lucky, the butterflies have eaten it, many of the plants down, so they're no longer pretty. Now you're in for a treat today with the Shell Point butterfly habitat because we have some areas where we can show you where the caterpillars have uh, munched on that don't look so good, but we have some other areas that are lush and beautiful. We try to keep a uh, balanced uh, combination of both. This plant, if it were growing in your garden, you would pull it out. But here, it's precious because it is the host plant for the great southern white butterfly. So they will lay their eggs here on this and so, uh, and so we'll begin to have our population of the uh, great southern whites come in. And here's another plant that you would pull out. Let's see if I can bring this over so that you can see it. Do you all recognize this as a thistle? I would tear this out as fast as I could in my garden. But it is the painted ladies host, host plant. plant. I would like to introduce you to Alice Debon. She, is, she along with Gaz Goslin, are the two people that revitalized the butterfly garden back in 2011. Why, thank you. And now I've gone from doing the gardening in the dirt to doing the orchids in the trees. And I'm enjoying that. We've had uh, orchids donated by various residents and from the orchid house. And I put them in the trees. And they have absolutely nothing to do with butterflies. It was just for fun. And they're thank beautiful. <laughs> We have one in bloom down there, we have one in bloom up there. Um, there's some down the end that are in bloom, and um, they're not easy, but they're fun to work with. 
I would also like to introduce you to four members of the Habitat Committee that we're lucky enough to happen to be working here today. Alvin. Hello. Hi. <laughs> and uh, Alvin is our photographer. What do you enjoy about being a part of the Habitat Committee? Well, I've, I've been taking the pictures. Uh, there's something like 180 butterflies in Florida that are recorded. We have about uh, 28 so far that I've taken pictures of. And um, we're, I've also taken pictures of all the plants. Uh, I think I have 90 so far that you can identify. Hi, I'm Ed Johnston and I just volunteer. I uh, do a lot of physical labor. And uh, I don't know anything about butterflies or plants. I just work. But do you <laughs> enjoy I, the work? I have a lot of fun. Jim? Hi, I'm Jim Fisher. I've been here about 18 months now. Always had a green thumb. When I got down here, I kind of got corralled into this. It's new for me, but it's been a, uh, quite an adventure and I'm enjoying it. I love the people, so I'm glad I'm here. I'm Sue Harpum. I've been here three years. This place is so much fun. It's The people are interesting. I'm always learning. I, uh, and grow, I feel I'm growing and out in nature and it is all, something's always different and there's varied tasks to do. Um, I love it here. I'd like to invite you to join us. There's no experience necessary. All you need is a willingness and desire to learn. It, join us for uh, an exciting and fulfilling experience. Tune in again tomorrow for more on butterflies with the Butterfly Bed and Breakfast.